Hi, my name is Frederick Chipkin. Welcome to my class, Adobe Photoshop Textile Design, Part 6, Tips, Tricks, and Time Savers. I'm going to start out by showing you two basic cleaning techniques that should substantially cut down on the time spent cleaning a design after it's been color reduced. Then I'm going to show you some everyday survival techniques, such as color reducing a design down to just a few colors using a soft stipple. After that, I'm going to show you how to color reduce design down to index color in just five minutes. Or at least I'll be showing you a technique that should really speed things up. Then I'm going to show you how to color reduce the design down to index color in five minutes again, but this time with a soft stipple. And the last thing I'm going to do is show you how to add a stippled highlight to a flat image without having to use the airbrush tool. I designed these techniques to give you the skills you need to make the design process a lot smoother and give you some time back so you can give each design project the TLC it deserves. This class was meant to complement my class on color reduction. So before taking this class, I strongly advise taking my class Adobe Photoshop for Textile Design Part 2, Color Reduction. Before we begin this lesson, on this page I provided a link so you can download the practice images that go along with this lesson. So pause the lesson, get your practice images, and we'll continue. Don't forget to save these files to a location on your computer where you can easily find them again. The process of cleaning a design is simply the process of neatening it up. It's totally subjective and there's no right or wrong way to do it. However, these few tricks I'm going to show you should substantially speed things up. On my screen is the practice image you have previously downloaded called Fun Poppy. Now to see the situation better, let's zoom in a little bit. Now if you look over here, you'll see that this design is an index color mode. Now this design is very typical of a design that's been color reduced down to index color in that there are stray pixels, which are these dusty looking speckles, mostly in the ground, which we don't want to be there. Also, there are some messy, green, clumpy, dusty spots in the flowers, which also need to be cleaned up. Now, one way to clean all these stray pixels is to use the editing, selection, and fill tools to clean up these stray pixels and neaten up and redraw the parts of the design that you don't like. No matter what I show you here, there'll always be some redrawing to do when cleaning up a design. Now, this may seem too simple and too time consuming, and you may want some kind of trick to speed things up. Okay, here's a trick. So the first part of this trick is for cleaning up those stray pixels that are found mostly in the ground. Before you do the following, make sure that your background color in the toolbox is set to the background color in your design. Now, I want to show you something. Let's go to Image, Mode, Color Table. And if you look over here on the color table, you'll notice this slightly lighter checkered box. This represents the transparency in the design. This design and the next technique will not work with transparency, so let's get rid of it. Let's go to Image, Mode, RGB, then Image, Mode, Index Color. Notice that the palette is exact. Uncheck Transparency, and then click OK. Now let's take the Magic Wand tool. Make sure that Contiguous is not checked. Make sure that anti lies is not checked. Tolerance is zero, and point sample is selected. And then select the ground color in the design by clicking on it. Then go to select, 
modify then smooth. The sample radius should be at one or two pixels. Then click OK. And then hit your delete key on your keyboard. A large amount of stray pixels should now be instantly cleaned up. Then let's go to select and then deselect. Now you can do almost the same thing by selecting the ground color, then going to select, modify, expand, then expand by one pixel, OK, then go to select, modify, contract, then contract by two pixels, click OK, then hit your delete key on your keyboard. And magically, you've cleaned up even more pixels. Try out both ways. Sometimes one way works better than the other way. Sometimes both ways work better together. Experimentation and experience is the only way to find out. Now you may have noticed that there's green, messy stuff where it shouldn't be, particularly in the petals of the flowers. This technique shows you how you can cut down on those stray pixels substantially. It's a wonderful time-saving technique. However, it does take some practice and experience to master it. If done properly and with judgment, it could save you hours of cleaning your design.